Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. And we start off this part by uh, showing off the blue, the Trinity Marks. Basically, to use the Trinity Marks you uh, have to have uh, Sora, Donald and Goofy in your party. Go around them and you press the, um, I believe it's the triangle button, and you can basic and you hit them and it does various things, it gives you various items. Uh, with the blue ones, I think they just give you money and uh, magic, I think, at points, like magic refills. Um, but yeah, you get uh, unlock different types of trinities throughout the game, like there's loads of different colours. The first colour that we get is um, blue, as you saw there. But anyway, what we're doing now is we're now actually moving on to our first proper world. And that means showing off a mechanic which I... To be honest, don't really like. <laughs> In fact, I fucking hate it. Um, yeah. So uh, this is the uh, gummy ship mechanic. Basically, this is how you travel uh, in between ver all the various worlds. Um, up until I think you have to complete the first uh, three. Is it three? I think it's the first three or four worlds. And then you get an item off um, Sid back in Travis Town, which allows you to not have to, to basically walk back to any world that you previously visited. But yes, if you're going to um, each world, you're going to have to do one of these sections. Now, um, one thing I will say about them is that they aren't that hard. In fact, they can be um, pathetically easy which you, if you are, uh, you know, to, if you uh, know what you're doing, you've done this a lot. Um, but yeah, I still. Eh. The problem I have with it is that it's just, it's not very um, entertaining. Uh, it's pretty dull. You basically shoot these things out the sky, um, and. That's it, avoid shit, don't get hit by anything, uh, shoot at things when you need to, and you pick up these items and they basically give you like, um, some of them will be little items which allow you to add stuff to your gummy ship, um, or it will add you replenishing things like, you know, it will replenish stuff that replenishes bits of health or stuff that replenishes the uh, shield, which is the blue boundary, the blue thing that you can see on the side there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think I only failed, hang on, uh, try to remember, yes, I failed during this recording session, I've, uh, during this record, uh, during recording the game, I've only failed one of these, um, they're not exactly hard, but, uh, I don't really upgrade this thing all that much, that's one thing I won't be showing off, actually, is the, um, gummy ship upgrades that you can do to your ship because I just don't understand how it works. It's just not fun to um, go through. But anyway, that's it. So you're going to have to do that a lot early on, early on in the game, and it does slow down the pace, which I just don't like. <sighs> but now it's on to our first world of the game. A uh, nice one, Goofy. Um, so yeah, the first world of the game is Wonderland from uh, Alice in Wonderland, obviously. Um, and this world is... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> um, aesthetically, it's quite pleasing. I think it looks kind of nice. Oh, there's another great trinity, but we can't use it yet. That will be for later. So here we go. Let's head through the door. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> Bunch of doors. It's doors in doors. So yeah, we're in the rabbit hole now. Um, so what you want to do, I believe, I'm trying to remember. So yeah, you talk to the uh, sleeping doorknob first. Because that's a thing. Ugh, that's, I don't know. I find that kind of bizarre. Then again, I found Alice in Wonderland kind of bizarre. The Disney movie was really bizarre, actually. I need a bit more sleep. You, you, Wait, ugh, what fucking hell. What an asshole. <laughs> what, 
What a lazy prick. Oh well. Oh look, the table suddenly appeared. Um, I'm trying to remember what you have to do. Oh yeah, what you have to do first is you have to push this into the wall because... Yeah, you can do that. And then you have to drink this thing off the table which shrinks you down to a small size. And that enables you to get through um, the entrance, uh, the... Oh, I'm on top of the table. Um, it, it allows you to enter the entrance. Ah, here we are. Brand new enemy type. Uh, these are... Uh, I can't remember the name of these things. But essentially they are uh, little... Um, heart They are heartless which shoot um, fire at you. I guess the, the equivalent, uh, you could call them f uh, fire mages, I guess. Um, they pretty much, all they do is shoot fire at you. And uh, if you want to get blaze shards for um, uh, getting new items, uh, for synthesizing new items. Sorry about that. Uh, if you want to synthesize new items, then uh, you need blaze shards for synthesis, then those fire enemies are the best ones to go for. And you'll find them uh, here. I think they are in other worlds as well, but um, this is the one where they first appear, so... Come back to this world any time, you'll be able to find them, no bother. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Hang on a minute. <coughs> Sorry about that. Still getting over a cold. <laughs> ah, look who it is, it's Alice. Shocking that we find Alice in the you know, Alice in Wonderland world. <laughs> Oh, look, it's the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> I remember when we went to Disneyland one year for um, a holiday when I was really young. How old, how old was I? I must have been like uh, less than 10, I believe. Eight or nine. Um, <laughs> my uh, sister at the time, who was. My, well, she's my sister now, but. <laughs> my sister, who was um, three? Three or four? Yeah, must have been around that age. At the time, uh, met the uh, woman who was, you know, the Queen of Hearts, like the woman who was dressed as the Queen of Hearts around Disneyland, and just burst into tears. <laughs> so I always remember that. Muddling. Yeah, we can't meddle. By the way, this is something, the meddling thing is something which is completely cast out after Kingdom Hearts 1, like, because in Kingdom Hearts 1, because Sora doesn't know what he's doing, I guess, because Sora doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, um, you can make the argument that basically him basically interfering with all these worlds makes sense because of the fact that he's, um, you know, because stuck on his own world for so long that he doesn't really know all these, um, rules, um, and Donald and Goofy just have to go along with him. Um, but, yeah, the whole m meddling in affairs of other worlds just kind of goes away completely. It's kind of like Doctor Who. <laughs> it's the same argument there that, you know, Time Lords are not supposed to meddle in the affairs of other planets. Um, but they still do. That there's your save point, so if you want to save or restore health, you can do that there. Um, and so now, uh, at this point, what we need to do is we need to go off and we need to find some uh, evidence. Uh, actually, hang on. Just one minute. Right, okay. So here's the Cheshire Cat. How are you, Cheshire Cat? You look weird. As per normal. Uh, so, yeah, basically, there it is. So, yeah, there are four pieces of evidence that you need to find. Now, basically, um, if you want to, uh, you can find only one, I believe. Yeah, you can only find, like, you can find one piece of, one, one world, um, one piece of evidence. And you can go back to the Queen of Hearts and you can just, then you continue on with the story. Um, but the best, uh, there is a reason why you want to collect all four. Uh, if you collect all four, then you get the uh, Blizzard spell early. Is it the Blizzard spell? Yeah, it is the Blizzard spell early. And uh, that enables you, and that is just, um, and that just is just um, helpful with the uh, boss fight. 
So yeah, the first piece of evidence is here. See, I'm getting pissed off now because I'm trying to work out. Okay. Because I'm still in fight mode because there's still something here apparently. And ah, that's the one thing I hate about Kingdom Hearts One is that you can't. If there are enemies around, then you can't collect shit. There we go. So now we uh, might as well unlock this Trinity while we're here, because for that we can get some magic and some... We get some magic restore. Plus we get a potion, a tent, and an ether. Very nice. So what we do here is we tap on this, and you find this pin box, and we obtained our first clue, which is the uh, footprints. Uh, the next piece of evidence, I cannot remember where it is. Let me have a look. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the the next one, you need to go all the way to the back of the room. So up here. And you need to... Oh, enemies. Fuck off. That's it, Goofy. Kick his ass. There we go. We're done. <laughs> um, so you need to... Uh, oops. Yeah, I tried to do something here. Oh, can I jump? There we go. And there you go. There's your next, which is the uh, antenna. Um, the next one, I believe... Uh, I'm trying to remember. The next one is the stench. Uh, yeah, so you need to um, climb up these mushrooms, which are a bit of a pain in the ass to platform on, if I'm honest. And then you jump onto this platform. And you jump. And you fuck up your jump, <laughs> and then you jump cut, and then you're back. And then, uh, so yeah, so we got this here. Dalmatians, we've got some more Dalmatians, oh god. That's the part of this which I hate the most, because in order to do uh, something later on in the game, you need to collect it. It's in order to open up the, um, win to complete the Winnie the Pooh world, you have to have collected 50 of these bastards. Of the 101 Dalmatians, you need to have collected 50, I believe. It's just a pain in the ass. So here we are, and there's your next one. And we obtain the stench. So then we have to go back to the Lotus Forest. Which, uh, do I cut? I can't remember. I might show. I might cut. I think I cut after I um, have taken down some enemies. Could always do with some uh, experience points, and Donald's leveled up. Strength has gone up. So yeah, go back through here. And there we go, we're back in the Lotus Forest. Uh, the next thing we need to do is... Oh yeah, so you need to ex talk to him. Give him a potion. Give uh, the flower a potion and you get big. Next thing you need to do is you need to go and find a certain thing. Tom, thank you. Yeah, you jump on this, and that opens up, activates some new platforms. Now you need to go back to your normal size. So we grab this. Do it again. No. There you go. You knock that down. You eat it. And then that will shrink you back down to normal size. And now we have to go through, jump across those platforms, um, and then head through that uh, door, I believe. If I remember correctly. Yeah, you have to uh, platform. Which I, ugh, I never liked platforming in this Kingdom Hearts 1. But anyway, jump all the way across. Uh, jump up here. Tom, there you go. And now you need to jump across here and you just follow these platforms along. Uh, get up to the top uh, most one here. And through the gap back to the bizarre room. Nice and easy. You drop onto this thing, and this is where it becomes a pain in the ass, because you can see the pink. It's the final one there. Yeah, fuck you, Donald. <sighs> I didn't jump. There we go. And boop. And we've got the claw marks, which is our last piece of evidence that we need. <clears throat> Once you've got all four, then uh, the Cheshire Cat comes back, and you... Next thing you have to do is go to the to back to the Queen of Hearts and uh, present your evidence. But well, I'll give you something. Attain the power of ice, and we've got to learn the magic spell Blizzard. So now we have the uh, Blizzard spell, and that'll be 
uh, it is helpful, I think, in the um, boss fight we've got at the end of this game, the end of this world. Um, but it's actually not. It's actually not that hard. To you. it's not 100% necessary. Like you can beat the boss fairly comfortably without it, but it just makes it easier. That's certainly a lot of evidence for my present. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> and of course, she has a bit of uh, some evidence. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> That's bull. That's bollocks. Fuck you. <laughs> you dare, Jet. Then you'll lose your head. I didn't, yeah, don't, don't cut up my head. Don't cut up my head. So now you have to choose a box. Ah. <sighs> Time to choose a box. So I think you can choose anyone, and it doesn't really matter. The same thing will happen every time, which is a heartless will pop out. When a heartless pops out, um, the boxes disappear, and then shit starts to go wrong. There's your evidence. Alice is innocent. It was that thing though. All right, all right, all right, Schwarzenegger, calm down. I am the law. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's stupid. Season that one. All oh, right. So, ladies and gentlemen, what happens here is that goes away, that goes away. This thing opens up, and this is our next boss battle, and which we won't be doing until the next part. So, join me next time when we'll be doing the uh, mid-world boss battle uh, against uh, the Queen of Hearts guards. Uh, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> so join me next time for the next part of Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. See you next time.